Okay, so today we're going to be learning about texture. And we're going to be making an owl sitting on a branch. So let's jump into learning how to do that. Today you're going to need a piece of paper, a black crayon, watercolor or markers, and some water and a paintbrush. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is draw a big U. Next, we're going to draw the ear shape. So I'm going to have us do a little bit of a line. And now do a bump. Connect it to this little spot here. I'm going to do the same on the other. Make another, it almost looks like an M. And then bring it up to the top. Now we're going to draw two big eyes that touch. So you're going to draw one large circle. And then you're going to draw another one right off of that first one. And think about what type of eyes do you want to give your owl? You could add in the pupils. And then you can add in lines if you want. And make these cool owl eyes. or your own version. Now we're going to draw a V for the nose or the beak. And the next thing is we're going to draw a curved line for the body. So draw a big curved line. And for the feathers, we're going to be drawing lots of U's or W's if you want. You can make them pointy if you want, or just do U's that connect off of each other, like this. Fill up the whole owl's body. Now we're going to add on feet. So add on the feet any way you'd like. And the next thing is we're going to add on leaves and branches. So I'm going to draw a line here. And then I'm going to draw a longer one. Don't worry if it's wavy because no branch is perfectly straight. And let's add some texture onto our branch. So let's do a line, do another one, a little spaced off here, maybe one by its feet. Kind of add in a couple of them. And then my favorite part is let's add a little knot on the branch. So I'm going to do a little spiral. Do a half of a circle on each side. And there is my knots. Now let's add a couple branches. So you're going to do a wavy line. Do another wavy line off of it. I'm going to do a dot. Now I want you to do a curve. Another curve to a little wavy line inside. Let's do that again. A dot, curve from the dot to that branch, and backwards, and do a little wavy line inside. You could add in a couple more on the bottom too. So I'm going to make a longer one. A longer branch here, maybe one up here too. 
And now I'm going to make a bigger leaf. Connect it and connect it. And add maybe this one, I'll do a straight line inside. Here, I can have it going off the paper. And same with this one. Our next thing is let's add a moon. So let's draw a big kind of C. And now I'm going to come off of it and curve back to the beginning. And there's my moon. So now that we've added on our owl and our texture inside of the branches, let's go in and start coloring. All right, so when we use our watercolor, remember you want to wake up the paints. So I always just take the water and I do some drops into the paint so they wake up because watercolor is painting with water. So I add just a couple drops to wake them up. You never want to be swirling around too much in your watercolor. Get some brown woken up too and a little bit of black. Fantastic. Okay. So let's play with our background. You can always turn your paper and I find it's easier sometimes to turn my paper. So remember we're playing with our water. So here I'm going to start with a nice background, just dipping my paintbrush into the puddle that I created and I'm going to go back and forth and create this nice transition of the sky. So you can start off with one color. I might add in a little bit of a purple and mix it this way so it changes its color. When you're using watercolor, the more water you have, the lighter the color is going to be. The darker your color you want it to be, you need to use a little bit less water. So because these are just woken up, you'll notice that they have um, a lot more water available to it. But as you're working, you can always go back and as it dries and add on another layer. Rinse your brush between and keep playing with coloring that background.